Welcome back guys. As promised, we're going to ride on the Flying Scotsman. And we're going to do more than that, actually. We're going to we're going to do some more riding. I've done a bit more decorating in the Chudley Valley. Well, you can probably see that we've got some fields scattered around. It's, uh, it's looking pretty nice in there. And I've got a surprise up at Aspatria. Um, I just wanted to show you this, right? If I just jump into first person. Look at the docks. Oh, we're going to have to... The only thing is, this, this kind of makes you seasick watching this. We really need to decorate this. Because this is starting to look freaking sweet. Just thought I'd show you that quickly. Um, what else? I, and I was going to tell you, I, I actually spent like a whole load of time. Like, I spent probably a couple of hours decorating this area. I put in like a whole freaking load of stuff all around here. I actually ended up decorating the river all along here. I was just kind of trying out ideas and stuff, but let me tell you, this is going to look absolutely amazing. We're, we will get to it. We will get to it. I promise. Right. Let's, uh, okay. But just before we upgrade the, the uh, Flying Scotsman and ride that, uh, there's two little things we need to do. Um, I need to pause because this keeps jumping around. Um, Tavistock. Let's have a quick. We've got 216 fuel waiting up here, which is quite a lot of fuel. Uh, do, 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 do. We've got a train coming in. I don't see a train. Let me put my train icons on for a second. Uh, are you coming down or are oh, you coming down? And these things, I think, carry like 45 each. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on that. We've got another train. So there's another train coming in, though. I, you know, I think we need another one. Good God. All right, well, we'll do it. Uh, so we're going A3 slash 5. I am going to start to mix the trains up a bit. Um, so we'll go A365 with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And set you online barking. Boom, there you go. Right. Um, that's that. Now somebody, I wouldn't have spot. I don't think I would have spotted this, but somebody mentioned Peacehaven, and I didn't think Peacehaven was a was too much of a problem. But there's actually a lot of fuel over here at Peacehaven, like 171. So I think we need uh, a bit of an upgrade. Let's get the let's get the Peacehaven line up. Oh uh, no, no no no! I want the Cheshunt line. It's supposed to be Chesant or Chesant. So many different pronunciations for places. Um, we've got we've only, see, we've only got one vehicle on here with four. Um, so I think what we'll upgrade that to five. So we'll add another tank wagon, replace that now. Yes, please. And we'll also stick another train on here. So um, A three six five by and one two three four five. Set you online. Just some fuel. Bosh. Okay. Right. That should keep this under control, hopefully, while we're while we're riding on the trains. And our production is starting to come up very, very nicely. We need to get we need to get some more demand for the goods. Keep that flowing. Uh, money is going like pretty fantastic. Right. Fly Scotsman. It's flying Scotsman time. We, now, because the we only go like above ground from from like Chudley when we come out of this tunnel. Uh, up to Aspatria. I thought we'd also do a ride on the on the freight line as well, because I thought that'd be thought that'd be kind of nice. You think? Right. So let's get the Eastbourne Aspatria route up. Hang on. Are we above ground? Um, we're above ground on this route, but I've got to say this is kind of boring here. <laughs> it's not. Not the most exciting thing, is it? Uh, oh, this is going to cost a bit. How, like, have we got many passengers waiting? Let's just scroll down here. We got many passengers waiting here. Biggles Wade, we've got like 70 people waiting. I don't think we need, like, much of an increase on this. So, but it'll be faster. That's the main thing. So, replace. Um, so, we want oh, my favourite trade, the Flying Scotsman. Bosh. Get rid of that. Now, put it at the front, for heaven's sake. Flying Scotsman, add. Thank you. Right, now, this is uh, 75 miles an hour. It's awesome. Um, now, we've we've already got these characters, three-axle cars, but they're limited to 62, so we've got to go for these. And I think these look 
a little bit nicer for this as well. I think they kind of fit with this. Mind you, they're only 62. Oh, we need a new carry. What about that? Nah, that's a slow one. We need a new car. We need a new coach for our passengers because they're going to be slowed down to 62. That's kind of pathetic. Well, we're... Mm, mm, it's slightly more passengers. Uh, it's a bit more money as well. Well, I guess we'll go. I guess we'll put the new ones on. We'll at least have a look at them. So let's get rid of the three axle cars. And we'll put these on. One, two, three, four, five. What was I running? Five? Let's go up to six. Like, what the hell? Uh, yeah. And replace now. 50 million. Oh, God. Oh, man. Yes. Right. Let's go, um, you know, we're, and we're going to ride both ways because you see different stuff. Um, you're coming out of the station. We want the next train going into, here we go. Here we go. This is what we want. So let's jump on board. Now this will be an old uh, A3 slash 5 at the moment until it gets to the station. And this is a long old tunnel going up to Chudley. Here we go. That's an A3 slash 5. Oh no, it's. Was that. An, that was an A3 slash 5. That was an A3 slash 5. I'm sure it was. I could, I could easily be wrong, but I, I think it was. So. We're going to pull into here. The train will upgrade, but we won't see it until we get outside. Look at these people. <laughs> Crazy people flying through the air. So now we'll upgrade. And then we're going to head off. Here we go. Now, how quickly does this accelerate? That's a 3 slash 5 again. This should accelerate fairly quickly. I mean, we're going uphill and it's still speeding up. Yeah, this is going to fly. <laughs> this is going to fly. And here we come into the Chudley Valley. Heading for Aspatria. Well, I don't know what you think, but I think it's like a million times better than it used to be. And I love these little bits of fields. It does make a hell of a difference having a little bit of colour around the place. We just went, we just went through the bit that I smoothed out, and it's so much better now. Here we come. Look. Little bits of field around the place, mate. I don't know, they just brighten it up, create some interest. The tree lines are so much better now. Now that's a Scotsman. Yes. Out we come. We will have a look at the Scotsman in a sec. But I just want to kind of ride this. I have to look, look, sheep, sheep, sheep in the field. But you like that when you're riding on trains when you're a kid. Like looking out the window going, sheep, sheep, cows, horses. And every now and then you'd spot a donkey. Now, just have a look at Aspatria Station. Because it's a bit different now. Got this road coming up. Look at this. We've got fences. We've got a huge parking lot car park now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pause it there cuz I want to show you this cuz I have been doing a bit of bit of decorating around here um, first of all I put in um, I put in this extra road going down here and um, I played around with this I did some decorating with some trees and stuff like that put some fields and stuff like that in and I do like how this looks Sometimes with the stations, the stations look kind of silly and isolated. Uh, and I thought, you know what? 
How about a car park next to the station? So people can drive to the station, park up, go and catch the train. And I've got to say, now there's a whole load of different ones of these. Let me show you. Uh, this is under roads. Did it do, do? Yeah, look, there's loads of them. There's, um, these are, come on. These are like parallel parking lots. So there's, there's parking down there and parking in the middle. And then um, this is um, parking on both sides. And then this is the one that I put in here with all the parking. And then there's also the bus bay with bus bays down each side. I really like that. And there's also oh, loading bays, which is very cool. So there's, we're definitely going to be using a lot of this stuff. It's very awesome. And this is the type of fences that I put down the side. And, and I, t I actually took my time with this and did it properly. And they look, I think, really, really good. If you take your time and you do it properly, they really do look awesome. They go all the way up to this end, right up to the edge of the building. And I, I like... All these little details, they just add to it and the, the place starts to look really cool. I didn't want to knock this building down, so I did this kind of nonsense and I ended up liking it. Thinking that looks quite good, actually. I love that little shop on the corner. That's only just built. That's built while we've been, just, while we've just been riding that train. That's built. He's seen, he's seen a, a good commercial opportunity. He's like, oh, all these people park in here. If I have a little shop here, people will be coming home from work and they'll come and get their, get their groceries on the way home. What's he got? Drinks and herbs. Are you kidding? Okay. And now I'll get loads of comments from Americans going, it's herbs, not herbs. Uh, not, not in the UK, it's not, it's herbs. We think herbs sounds stupid. All right, moving on. Uh, what do I, oh yeah, we're, sorry, we're going to ride this. Look, just look at this train. That, seriously, that is the most beautiful locomotive of them all. It's just freaking awesome. That did, I mean, this really deserves a good old look at. Look at that flying Highlander. I wonder if they've changed that for copyright reasons. I don't know. All that stuff written on the side. I don't spend anywhere near enough time appreciating the detail on these models. I really don't. Because it is staggering. Somebody's left a door open. Well, it's in the station, I suppose. So that's kind of fair enough. All right. Shall, shall, we, um, shall we ride? Yeah. Let's, um, let's go third person for a bit. Let's get rid of that. Uh, all the noise. Let's turn that off. We don't want any noise. We'll pop that down in the corner. Oh, we want to be able to see the speed, don't we? Yeah, so, right. Away we go. The doors are open. The doors will close when he's ready to go. There we go. And off we go. Oh, yeah, hear that train whistle. Just look at the scenery. Go on, we'll go first person. Uh, we might ride this again. Have a bit more third person, because I love seeing the train. But, I mean, look at that for a view. What a freaking view. I need to finish doing the trees over there. So, here's the sheep again, down here. Bah, bah, bah. It's nice having these fields in the distance. I mean, this I, this is starting to look like like a real place. Here we go. Love it. Absolutely love the views, and it's only going to get better. I'm going to start adding in some more points of interest. Look at that. Look, now that is just awesome. Don't you think? I put a bunch of fields down there. 
That really does look like farmland. And the buildings, like everything just blends together so much better. Figuring out how to do the trees nicely was like a major thing. But like now, it's like we do not want to be underground. Right, this is why I don't like using underground stations. We want to be up here. We want to be, you know, coming into town. I don't know, somewhere around here. And being able to see, like, the town and what's going on and all the scenery. But you can see the difference. Like, this looks rubbish up here. And this looks really good. So, let's um, let's jump on board a, um, a fuel train. Oh, there's one. Perfect. A Chudley fuel train. Now, I don't want to wait for this guy. Well, you're bringing fuel up. You'll, you'll probably... Oh, is that... No, that's an Eastbourne. That's an Eastbourne train, isn't it? Yeah, it's an Eastbourne. So, I tell you what. Let's just flip you around. We'll jump on board. And we'll ride on the freight line, which is on the opposite side of the valley. And it's above ground the whole way. So, we see, like, a whole load more. I need to sort this out, because this is disconnected at the moment. But again, look, this looks really nice. This looks crappy up here. I have put, um, like, a bunch more in. I, well, I've extended this from, like, back here all the way around here. I spent, I don't know, I spent at least an hour working on trees. But I've spent a lot of time, like, on, on really, really little details. I still haven't finished that off. I didn't, I didn't get as far as that. I got sidetracked by other things. But this looks really nice now. I like that. And, and this part of the valley, I wanted to have trees, like, all the way across. And I think I might extend the tree line down a little bit here. So now we're going to go through our little forest section. Into the little tunnel. Nice embankment. Loads of trees everywhere. All the supplies. Is that a factory over there? I think it is. Into the tunnel. And now this. This is the view. Oh, there you go. Now we're into the Chudley Valley. My God. And when you see this, like all the time and effort I've spent, like modifying the terrain so that we can actually see stuff, all the time spent putting the blooming trees in, and it's all worthwhile. I still think this needs to come down a little bit more. But I, I dropped the one on that side so that you can see this bridge like all the way down. Another field over there. This station needs dressing up a little bit now. I'm not sure how we're going to dress this up, but definitely needs some stuff. Some stuff around. Don't know what, but some stuff. Oh, he only goes to Chudley. Oh, well, we'll have to, we'll have to jump off and catch the train up to Aspatria. Because we want to see all of this as well. Where's the Aspatria train? I thought the Astra Aspatria train would be waiting, but it's not. Where are you? Oh, there he is. Well, should we ride it back then from uh, from Aspatria? Yeah, go on. So. So, Aspa did have you just delivered some fuel? No, you haven't. So, Aspatria still hasn't got any fuel. Yeah, let's have a look, Aspatria. Have you had any fuel? It's not looking like it. Come on, game. Right. Jump on board. Should we just go... Yeah, let's just go first person. What the hell? So there's the, there's the parking over there. I need to do a bit of work on smoothing all this out. I was working on that side. I haven't been working on the freight side much. This is a bit too uneven. It needs smoothing out. But I do love it when you're going into tunnels and you've got the trees all over the top. That's a nice touch. So, through this one, and this is another great view coming out the other side of here. 
Oh, look at that. Now, seriously, wouldn't you want to ride this train? Like, just for the views and stuff? Definitely need, like, little... A few more little points of interest. I'm gonna... There's a mod that allows you to put, like, town buildings in. And I want to create some more, like, little sort of fake towns around the place with just, I don't know, just a church and maybe half a dozen buildings or something. Have more roads running around the place. Or do do little industrial things, so put a few more buildings around where there's a, where there's, I don't know, an oil well or a factory or a sawmill or whatever. That's probably a month end. Yeah, this is, I mean, it, 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 the thing is, you ride on it, you, it just makes you want to finish everything off and do like more and more and more. Oh, I want to go, I want to go up there now. Do you want to go up there? Go on, we'll go up there as well. Uh, did it, did, mind you, we, we could go back because we haven't seen this side and this, it, this is, oh, let's go back. Let's go back, let's just turn you around, jump on board. Let's go back up here. Let's have a really self-indulgent episode where we just ride on the trains and enjoy this. Look at that mountain up there. I mean, it looks so real. I'll probably end up playing around with these tree lines maybe a little bit. But generally speaking, man, it's it's certainly heading in the right direction. I mean, certainly from the comments that you guys have left, we seem to be heading in the right direction. Look at that. Wow. And, and see, this is where, you know, just the time spent on, on putting these bridges in nicely and stuff. This is where it pays off. Now, uh, while we're riding the train, one thing that I've been thinking about um, is... Because a, a few people have kind of commented and, and kind of sort of suggested this. Um, and that is to, to do, like, three different types of videos, which are, like... Um, like straight up like building videos where I'm, where I'm building lines and managing the economy and all that kind of stuff. And then trade, train ride videos, train ride videos where all I'm doing is riding the trains. Look at that. And the, I, I love that it all looks so different. And um, what's the third type? Oh, and the third type is like decoration. And... I, th I, I think that might be an idea to actually like split it up and do like probably like maybe have one decoration video to every two ride videos to every three um, like ordinary episodes building and managing the economy and stuff. I think that would work. Um, God, I'm enjoying riding the blooming trains. I love this place. Look at this. Look at that. Flying Scotsman. The sheep. I'm trying I'm trying to match speeds, but it's kind of difficult. Oh, two flying Scotsmans going past each other. Doesn't get much better than that. Let's just have a kind of a fly through the through the valley. Pick up the Scotsman on this side. Camera's, camera's going too fast. There's the Scotsman disappearing into the tunnel. We're going to pick the Scotsman coming up at the, out the other side. Yeah, here we go. Oh, now, that's it. That's working. Oh, hell yeah. 
Okay, that was worth waiting for. Into the tunnel it goes. And we'll fly off over here. Alrighty. Um, okay, what else? Right, let's um, let's bring up mission control. Let's see if there's anything we kind of need to do urgently. So, oh, I tell you what we do need to do, and this, this is going to be the next episode. Um, the next episode is going to be uh, getting um, some airplanes flying around. We definitely want to get some airplanes flying around. Um, and I did do a little test, and yeah, they work with this setup where you've got like half the map not connected to the other half of the map. It creates huge demand for air travel. So it is the way to do it. So we'll be, yeah, de next episode, definitely, we'll get that in. And more optimization. Um, yeah, and more, creating more demand. So let's, I want to do a little bit of that before the end of this episode. Should we do a little bit of that? Let's, yeah, come on, let's do it. So what do we want? Um, oh, look at this. 84 goods waiting to be shipped. Nice. How's everything else doing? Everything else is looking really good right now. So yeah, I think let's crank up a bit more demand. So how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to come down here and we're going to put a goods train from here up to Shep Shed. So the first thing we need is a new line which is going to run from here up to Shep Shed. Okay. Uh, this is goods, so this is going to be yellow. Uh, this is going to be uh, TF Shep Shed Goods. Boom. At the moment, this will probably be carrying other things later on. This will be a mixed train. So, boom, 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 boom. Um, that's hooked up so we can get onto here. Good. Alrighty. So, what are we going to put on here? We'll put. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Well, I'm going to stick with an A3 slash 5 for now and I'm going to start figuring out like where I'm going to use other trains and whatever because we do want uh, we do want to see all these other trains so let's see buy one of those and then goods we want the Verbands wagon one two three four uh, how much do these weigh these are 11 tons the ship is quite steep so maybe we should stick with four okay uh, let's clone that. We'll have two running on here. Set you online, ship your goods. Boom. Off you go. Right. So now, as w now let's uh, let's go over to the goods factory. Okay. So what's your potential? Two fifty three. Let's see if that changes. Um, it probably won't though until we actually start hooking up the trucks into the commercial area. Let's have a look. Where's the commercial area in Shep Shed? Ass, it's way over there. So we're going to have to put in a bus stop somewhere over here. Ooh. It's actually hard to pick everything up. We need to we need to change this road around it. Pause. We need to change this road because that's, that's a bit silly there. Uh, let's do... What do I want? I want a small... Yeah, I want a medium street. Medium Street. Let's take it from there. Boom. Okay, so now, bus stop. Oh, that would give us coverage of everything. So that's where it's going. Boom, boom. Alrighty. Now we want a new line. New line. This is going to be yellow because it's delivering goods. This is going to be RF Shep Shared Goods. Boom. Uh, this is going to run from... Yeah, do I use the other station? I mean, I could, couldn't I? Like, what the hell? Yeah, go on. Um, that's just going to run all the way up to there and back. Cool. We need some vehicles on there. Uh, pff, I, we're probably not going to need that many initially. So I'm thinking, like, maybe three. Three? Um, bum, bum, bum. It's a fair amount, though. It's a, this is a... Uh, let's put a fourth one. Let's be on the safe side. Shep Shed Goods. Boom. Right, go. Do you want to have a little look and see what Shep Shed looks like? I know the like, surrounding scenery is not like that staggeringly nice, but... Oh, you're waiting for fuel, aren't you? Oh, now. this is a, These are the old wagons. Need to change those. 
Oh, let's change that. Replace. We want A3-5 with... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I should probably only run it with 4. What's it running at the moment? Um, they're running 10. So, no, I guess I should put 5 on them. So, yeah. 5. Uh, replace now. It's another 10, 11 million. Yes, please. Good. We're up to 200 million. Wow. Okay, so we're re replacing those. Here come the trucks. Now, again, I should tell these guys, uh, wait for a full load. I'll let that one go, but I'm going to tell the other ones, wait for a full load. Right, and then, we're going to jump on board with this guy. And have a little look around Chepshed. And see how it's looking now. And it's all looking very industrial over this side of town. Oh, look at that. We've got a floating oil tank. Wow. There's quite a few things floating around. I guess it's because it, the terrain's a little bit up and down. But it is very industrial, this side of town. And I'm thinking this is probably not going to be very... Oh, no, we're going up into the commercial, aren't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is all the commercial area. So we'll see all the shops and everything. Starting to see lots of different cars around now. Newer cars. And here we are. We're up to the bus station. And we're going to go up to here. Flip around. Oh, no. No, we're actually going a proper route. That's nice. Restaurant, shop. The place has definitely come on. Everything's starting to get quite modern now. Hotel, restaurant, supermarket. I love all the details. Oh, because, yeah, yeah, I did decorate over here, didn't I? Yeah, I decorated these mountains. I'd forgotten I did that. There's the old floating oil tank again. I bet that's the talk of the town around here. And back out to the station. But you see how, like, the, the, the stations are, like, kind of just, just boring and isolated. They need to have buildings around them. You know, they need like these um, these warehouse type buildings. Where are we? Uh, bum, bum, bum. No, that's not what I wanted. I wanted that. I want that, and then I want that. Um, yeah, it needs like stuff like this around it. You know, you need. Uh, where's the long one? That yeah. You need like stuff, because otherwise, it's just kind of boring. But you know, you start banging a few of these around the place, and suddenly. The place starts to look a hell of a lot more interesting. So I'm, I'm going to have to take time and do stuff like that. But like I said, I'll split the episodes and I'll, I'll label them clearly like, you know, train rides or um, aesthetics or decoration. Oh, man. OK, uh, what next then? So, OK, so we've um, we've set that up. Now, let's have a look at our goods and see if it's registered any additional demand. So, oh yeah, look at that, 382. So we have now got quite a lot of demand. So hopefully that should step up demand at like the, pra pla uh, the plastics factory, which will hopefully uh, knock on to the uh, oil refinery that's, that's refining the oil, which is that one. Oh, potential for oil, 444. Oh, hell yeah. So, yeah, it's all happening when that's going to increase the demand from the oil well over here. Because that's only got like 75 potential at the moment. So, yeah. Um, should, we, uh, should we do one more? Should we do one more? Um, we could put a uh, goods train on the Eastbourne line. Uh, have we got room? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we've got a spare platform here. So, if we, yeah, go on, let's do one more. You, because I'm enjoying it. You enjoying it? I'm enjoying this. So um, this is going to be another yellow line. So this is going to run from here to Eastbourne. Um, where are you, Eastbourne? Uh, it's this one, isn't it? Yeah. Boom into there. 
Now, I'm going to make sure that we're going into the right. So you are going to go into Terminal 2. Oh, now can you go into Terminal 2? Did I put an X on here? Oh, no, I didn't put an X on here. Oh, can I put an X on? That's a good point. I, you know, I've got a sneaking suspicion that if I could have put an X, I would have put an X. Oh, man. So, well, I'm going to have to play around with that then. Because we kind of need that. Uh, won't do it. Doesn't like it. Doesn't like it at all. Different. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh, it'll do... Uh, too much slope. Oh, man. Is this very slopey? It doesn't look very slopey, does it? Okay, well, I'm going to have to play around with that offline. But, I mean, it's not like we've got a million trains running on here. So, I think we can manage um, sharing that platform for now until I fix it. And at the other end... Let's see... In the other end, it is using the other platform. Let's lock it into that. So, terminals, line one. Yeah, let's lock you in there. Okay, so we want uh, we want vehicles. How the hell do we get vehicles on here? Uh, from this. All right, so, buy trains. And we're going to go with... We'll just go with um, A3-5 with... Uh, one, two, three, four... I guess we'll put five on there. It's a pretty flat run. Yeah, let's put you on there. I'm just going to put one on for now. So, set you on line, line one. This is going to be TF Eastbourne. Oh, there's a U in it. Born. Eastbourne Goods. Bosch. Go. And we want you to wait for a full load. Here he comes. I like I like these little Vivan wagons. Cool. Uh, so that brings him out. So all we need to do is make sure that the goods are going to get delivered to commercial. So let's find out where's the commercial in here. Ooh, it's over there. So we're going to have to put in a truck route. So let's get another line. Boom. This is going to be goods again, so yellow. This is going to be RF Eastbourne. Oh, what have we got now? Oh, we've got a new type of tram. I do want to get some trams going. We're going to be doing trams and airports next episode, definitely. Um, if I spell this right. Eastbourne Goods. Boom. This is going to run from... Oh, I need to put a bus stop in, darling. Yep. What do you think? About there. Seem reasonable? Yeah, it gives us good cover. It covers us all the way out to there. So let's put you in. Don't quite cover that one, but it's it's good enough. So we're going to run from there. Come on. Yeah. To there. Ching. Right, where's the depot? Where's the de Oh, there's the depot. So buy road vehicles. Uh, one, two, three. I don't think we're going to need more than three. For now, yeah, set you online, Eastbourne Goods, and off you go. Oh, there we go. Let's get rid of this stuff. And off they rock. So, now, let's see, what's the what's Eastbourne's demand for goods? Look at this, 129. Wow. So, that pushes this, uh, the demand up, like, way over 500. And we can expect, extend that demand further by um, putting goods lines up to uh, Chudley and Aspatria. We can extend the Shepshed chain up to Peacehaven and Cheshire and Bognor Regis. And we haven't even like begun on the B goods. So, holy, there is so much to do. By the way, I was looking down here a bit earlier. It is so busy down here. With all the ships coming in and out. The Klondike's carrying the goods. How many goods you got on board? Look at this 96 of 100. We'll, we'll, we'll end the episode by having a quick look at the profits. So, how are we doing? Look at this. SF Oil and Fuel B. Making 15, 16 million. Biggles Wade Fuel and Crude's making 9 million. Ashby Logs and Planks is making 8 million, which is staggering. 
Oil and Fuel A is making 7 million. Biggles Way, oh look at that's one of the new lines. Biggles Way Crude and Oil making four, four, over 4 million. Tavistock Fuel making 3.5. And, and we're making 3 mil off our Scotsman's. But look, we've increased the capacity quite a bit. And there really isn't demand for it. I should have only gone with like five carriages rather than six. Because it, it is actually costing us a bit of money. But you know what? It's room for growth. So what the hell? So next episode, guys. We'll call it there. Next episode is going to be um, airplanes. And uh, we'll and get some trams in as well. In fact, I'm going to be using trams to get people to the airports. So hope you enjoyed this. I had an absolute freaking ball riding these trains. God, we need to do more of that. All right, guys. I'll look forward to your comments. I'll catch you for the next one. Hope you enjoyed it. Peace out. Thank you.